Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. Microsoft's new AI agent computer is shocking everyone. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what it is and what it means for you and me and people's jobs. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So Microsoft's new Copilot AI agents act like virtual employees to automate tasks. Microsoft argues that its AI automation will remove the boring bits of jobs instead of replacing jobs entirely. So Microsoft will soon allow businesses and developers to build AI powered co-pilots that can work like virtual employees and perform tasks automatically. Instead of Copilot sitting idle waiting for queries, it will be able to do things like monitor email inboxes and automate a series of tasks or data entry that employees normally have to do manually. Now, uh, before I proceed, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Just, just hit that thing. It's just right there and it's free. Okay. And it's free. <laughs> so, uh, it's a big change in the behavior of Copilot in what the industry commonly calls AI agents or the ability for chatbots to intelligently perform complex tasks autonomously. And we have a statement, you know, you, you know, you know, whenever there's a win, uh, you know, there's going to be some statements here. So here's the statement and it reads, we very quickly realized that constraining Copilot to just being con uh, conversational was extremely limiting in what Copilot can do today. Well, who, you know, in that statement was provided by Charles Lamana, who's the corporate vice president of business apps and platforms at Microsoft uh, in an interview. Uh, and then uh, <laughs> there's another statement. You, whenever they drop these things, they, all of a sudden they got a lot of statements. So uh, the next statement reads, instead of having a co-pilot that waits there until someone chats with it, what you have, you know, what, what if you could make your co-pilot more proactive and for it to be able to work in the background on automated tasks. Now, that, that was that statement. Now, Microsoft is previewing this new uh, compatibility today uh, to a very small group of early access testers uh, ahead of a public preview inside Copilot Studio later this year. Businesses will be able to create a Copilot agent that could handle IT help desk service tasks employee onboarding and much more now guys here's a here's a question that i have for you for the uh, this is a comment section question what do you think is open ai's uh, response to this right or other competitors what do you think their response to this will be please let me know in the comment section below so we have a statement and it reads co-pilots are evolving from co-pilots that work with you to co-pilots that work with you and this is a microsoft statement <laughs> this is a microsoft statement they said it in a blog post these co-pilot agents will be triggered by certain events and work with a business's uh, work with a business's own data. So here is how Microsoft describes a potential co-pilot for employee onboarding. So imagine you're a new hire, a proactive co-pilot greets you, reasoning over HR data and answers answers your questions introduces you to the to your buddy gives you the training and deadlines helps you with the forms and setups your first week of meetings now hr and the employees can work on their regular tasks without the hassle of administration so i think you know again we we are seeing ai starting to get really incorporated in the day-to-day -day tasks of not only just personal but a you know corporate america right businesses and again th there's a lot of reasons for this automation efficiency more money etc so please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button this type of automation will naturally lead to questions about job losses and fears about where ai heads next lamana argues that copilot agents can remove the repetitive and mundane tasks of jobs like data entry instead of replacing jobs entirely so they're saying they're not trying to replace jobs. They're just trying to enhance, you know, do you believe that? That's another question in the comment section below. Please let me know if you believe that. So let's, you know, what makes a job? What makes a role? It's a bunch of different tasks. And generally it is a very large number of very diverse and heterogeneous tasks. Now, if someone did one thing over and over again, uh, it probably would have already been automated by current technology. Who, which is said by Lamana. 
we have a statement and it reads so i count three statements so far i count three statements so far so the state the third statement says we think the copilot and copilot studio some tasks will be automated completely but the good news is most of the things that are automated are things that nobody really wants to do you know well i tell you whenever they have a win all of a sudden the statements are out so then the the story proceeds to say microsoft's argument that it only wants to reduce the boring bits of your job sounds ide um, idealistic uh, for now but with the constant fight for ai dominance between tech companies it feels like you know we're increasingly like on the edge on the verge of more than basic automation La uh, lamana believes human judgment and collaboration are still important parts of getting work done and that not everything will be suitable for automation so here's another question i got because i'm gonna start hitting you guys with these questions in the uh comment section which tech job or which cybersecurity job role career whatever you want to call it is unaiable <laughs> unaiable meaning you cannot ai this job this job you it, it requires human human let me know in the comment section below so there are still a lot you know lots of problems with generative ai right now especially around hallucinations where it just confidently makes up makes stuff up microsoft says it has built a number of controls into copilot studio for this ai agent push so that copilot doesn't simply go rogue and automate tasks freely uh, that's a big concern that we've seen play out already with Meta's own AI ad tools, misfiring and blowing through cash. So you can build Microsoft's Copilot agents with the ability to flag certain scenarios for humans to review, which will be useful for more complex queries and data. Now, what this all means is Copilot should operate within the confines of what you know has been defined and the instructions and actions that are associated with these automated tasks so microsoft is also making it easier for businesses to bring their own data into their custom copilot with data connections to public websites uh sharepoint onedrive and more this is one part of a broader effort inside microsoft to make copilot more than just a chatbot that generates things so we have a statement, you know, this, I think this is the fourth statement, right? And it reads Copilot in 2023 and Microsoft was very focused on searching over your data, summarizing your content and, uh, you know, generating new content. So it is understood that Copilot in 2024 is going to be very focused on customization, says Lamana. Okay. The new Copilot extensions will enable part of this customizations, uh, allowing developers to build connectors that extend Copilot across the line of uh, business systems. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video.